3.5 billion light years away from the Earth than the galaxy OJ287. Two supermassive black holes are locked in an explosive dance. Positioned at the heart of the galaxy, the largest of the supermassive black hole pair is 18 billion times more massive than our Sun. And with this incredible mass, it commands an enormous accretion disk, and it slings its companion black hole with a mass of 150 million solar masses around with ease. As the smaller black hole flies around the central monster, it plunges through the accretion disk, creating super Eddington flares, which are brighter than a trillion stars, and this occurs twice every 12 years. Although astronomers have studied this explosive dance for 130 years, understanding the motion of these black holes and the timing of flares is challenging. In this extreme gravitational environment of these two supermassive black holes, calculating orbits becomes far more difficult than calculating the orbits of, say, the Earth and Moon. Properties such as the mass and spin of the two black holes is needed to roughly understand the orbits. But to accurately predict the orbits, normally subtle aspects of how space is bent must be included. As the smaller black hole runs around its partner, it will send out ripples in the fabric of space, known as gravitational waves. It may seem insignificant, but accounting for the nanohertz gravitational waves changes the prediction of when the black hole runs into the accretion disk and launches flares by 1.5 days. Similarly, the exact shape of each black hole matters. If the black holes aren't perfect spheres and don't obey the no hair theorem, the predictions of the flare times will also be wrong. Armed with a detailed orbital model, astronomers predicted that a crucial flare caused by the smaller black hole plunging through the accretion disk would occur on the 31st of July 2019. The trouble was, the galaxy OJ287 would be obscured from the Earth by the Sun. Luckily, the Spitzer Space Telescope could watch this flare from its vantage point 254 million kilometers away from the Earth. Comparing against data from a similar flare in 2007, the Spitzer observations revealed that the prediction was accurate to within four hours. This remarkable result showed that black holes are indeed spherical, to an error within 15%. With this triumph, astronomers will push our understanding of physics even further to model the explosive dance. It may be that in the near future, we'll be able to see this collision take place with the Event Horizon Telescope. How incredible would that be to see an event that astronomers have studied for over a century?